Let's go. You are now tuned in to the Youth in Power Hour. Good evening, everybody. I'm Tony Hall. Empower. Come on, come on in, come on in, sit all down. That's the Youth and Power Hour with your boy Diddy Coffee, your boy GB the Speaker, and my boy JT. I want y'all to get ready for the Youth and Power Hour. We're going to be doing what we do, making it right, keeping it tight, doing what we got to do to try to have you and make you have a successful life. All my teens out there, come on parents, y'all need to pull up, sit up, shut up, sit down, and show out for these teens. It is far, far, far too long, getting far, far too crazy out here. What you need to do what's right. You understand what I'm saying, T? We need to do what's right. This is Diddy Coffee, the music mogul, the celebrity manager, doing what he do, doing what is right. And again, we're going to be giving you a lot of insights and a lot of things going to be going on in the coming time, in the coming years. But we're going to do what we do. My brother's GB, the speaker. Let's say we got to say this, do what we got to do. We've got to stop this gun violence. We've got to stop this gun violence. We've got to stop this gun violence with these teens. Teens, I want you to listen to me. You have somebody to talk to. You are somebody. Don't let nobody tell you that you're not. You are somebody. We've got to stop this gun violence in this country. We've got to stop it on our local level, on our national level. But if you're somebody, a leader, and just in your neighborhood, maybe there's a young man or a young lady that you could just take a couple of minutes to and talk with. Somebody may be at your church. Somebody may be at your child's school that might look up to you. Take a couple of minutes out of your time. Just a couple of minutes sometimes is all it takes. You know what I'm saying? You'll know the signs. You'll see them when they, a child may need some type of nurturing. A child will reach out to you if he's being bullied. It'll be certain things a child will say to you. Certain things a teen may look at you and say, you'll know. Please, take them under your wing. Say a couple of things to them. Everybody don't have great parents. Let's keep it 100. Everybody don't have great parents. You got some parents out here that should have never had children. I'm talking about ever, never, ever should have had children, but they do. Take a couple of minutes. Look around you. Go talk to that young man. Go talk to that young lady. You might save their lives. And you'll learn something in the long run, too. God has given us all a talent. Maybe your talent is to be and nurture children. Ask yourself, what does a 13-year-old need with a gun? Chime in, chime in. Absolutely. Hi, this is GB the speaker. Um, definitely, Diddy, you're touching on some very, very touchy subjects that we really need to touch on. You know, these kids, a lot of kids don't really have anything to do in their communities. I mean, it's more like we're following than leading. And we need the leaders to step up to teach these kids on how to lead. I mean, that's just being honest. Um, just because we may not have the, the playgrounds like we used to have with the rec center, things that we really, really need. You know, I truly feel like we have to go into the community ourselves and stop waiting on other people to go into our community to make it better. I feel we have to go into the community and create, create activities for these kids to be able to have something to do. Because when they don't have nothing to do, you and I was young, we know what's gonna happen. You're gonna find something to do. Especially if you don't have anybody guiding or directing you in the right way. So um, I feel like we just need to come together and just create activities and various things for our, our kids to do. Um, like mentor programs, we need to bring them back. I mean, be honest with you. I mean, I was given a, I never spoke of this, but I was given a mentor when I was 14 years old when I got in a little bit of trouble. And a part of the probation um, that I had was for me to be assigned to a mentor that stayed in my neighborhood. Well, to be honest with you, I was assigned, assigned this mentor, and I'm not gonna name any names, but I was assigned this mentor and I never spent a minute with this man, besides the time that we spent in the office when he was, you know, doing the paperwork. 
it was more like he was just doing it for other reasons, which we're not gonna get into. But I brought that up to say this. Find a child who needs guidance. It don't have to be your child. It don't have to be your brother, your sibling, none of that. As Diddy said, a lot of these kids just don't have the parents. They don't have the mother and father in the household. Some of them do just have mother and don't have that male guidance, you know? They need us, you know? Even if you can't spend time with them, you're working or you're doing other things, you're on social media, reach out to them on social media, via text, whatever you need to do, just to communicate. A lot of times, a simple message to change a child's life and lead them in the right direction. So, I just encourage all the leaders out there, all the men, all the males, doesn't matter your race, just go out and just help the kids. We all know they needed. it. We needed it when we was coming up. And put the guns down. Let's go. You are now tuned in to the Youth and Power Hour. Good evening, everybody. I'm Mr. Young Man. Power Hour. Youth and Power Hour. Do it. It's time for change. Youth and Power Hour. The podcast. Helping you create success. Believe in yourself. Know that you can accomplish anything. No matter where you came from, it's about where you're going. This is the Youth Empower Hour.